안녕하세요, 여러분. How you reviews? Hey, y'all. I'm Shamran. I'm here with my girl Sabrina, and we're How You Reviews. Two Americans who are swept up in the Korean wave as it reaches across the globe. We have a love of all Korean music. We're reacting to Yuk Sung Jae's "Without You," and it looks like this is a live performance, maybe. So I'm excited. I think so very excited to take We're a look at this. Hoping it doesn't get blocked. We've had a lot of recommendations from viewers to check out uh, these two songs in particular off of Yuk Sung Jae's new album. We already took a look at "The Ghost," loved that. So make sure you check that out if you have a chance and haven't already. Um, and now "Without You," so very excited for that. Just looked it up really quickly to just kind of find out what this song is about. "Without You" explores. The theme of parting ways after discovering the lies of a loved one. So, ooh, I don't know. I mean, the ghost was so definitely we have a bad. lover's so lies, and yeah. Then the ghost parting ways from someone who's like you're stuck with, and I don't know, man. So very excited to take a listen to this one. Um, a lot of our viewers have said that we're going to like it. So really anxious. So here we go. There's not a lot that Yuk Sung Jae does that we don't like. He is another one who just has these amazing. Powerful vocals. Oh yeah, and and again, we were talking about this earlier with Jung Ho. Like he has this tonal quality yes. that has a warmth, then you don't hear that in all voices. So mm -hmm. I think Yuk Song Jae definitely it stands has it. out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Is that a sleigh bell? <laughs> Korean or English? What do you think? Go. Uh, I don't remember. I say the ghost was in English. I don't exactly. know. Exactly. No combo. I like how he's not actually singing some of it. I mean, he is, but and not in this performance. Yeah, it's kind of like a pump, like, yeah, it does. <laughs> I should have a party. I don't think he's sad to be without her anymore. It doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Go far away. You know. It's so pop punk. I yeah. love it. <laughs> I should. I think. What is that? Like a trash can lid. Ding. Hair man, right? I get it. I love it. <laughs> Final thoughts? Oh, I love it. It's love so it. cute. Loved it. It's so pop punk, like, and it reminds me of um, I have to look it up, but like, 
the turning wheel, like in the background, kind of gives off some. <sighs> was it actually turning though, or was but it like a camera? The, because the they camera, were camera, like, but the white, like lights and stuff, kind of give off like an, a Michael Jackson song feel. Oh, okay, okay. But I can't remember which one it was. Well. I will say that I believe we've reacted to songs from our videos, performances from, is it from studio, F-R-O-M-M studio, mm-hmm. what this was through. And I think if I'm not mistaken, we saw like a treasure and we were like, uh, because it, it had like flashing colors and it was a lot of yeah. camera movement. <clears throat> so I think it's that studio's kind of shtick. Admittedly, the lines and the pulling in and pulling out, like really, like I feel very, like my vertigo's like, woo, you know, like that was fun. That was a little bit like distracting for me, but I love- Scream. That's yes, it. Scream. Yes, yeah. Remember okay. how they're in like that, that tunnel and it's got yeah. the lights and stuff? Mm-hmm. And, and Scream, it turns. It does, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I just That's okay. I had a That's brain, right. like no. my brain kind of like clicked in. Yes, and as soon as you said that, I can picture it in my mind. So I, I see what you're talking about. Um, but I, I loved how it was all white with just that little bit of blue. So there was like some blue in the light from behind him. <laughs> and his black hair. And his black hair, but then he had the blue mic. Yeah. And then it, it was just oh, that all white, that innocent, like, and it had punk, but like, Punk doesn't usually go like all white, so it kind of at the same time kept his innocence, like his bangs down at the end, the that little puff and they moved was so adorable. Like it just he no matter what, he's like he's like our song yes. Like he's just I love him and his voice and I love the line. Well, and it reminds know, me of voice. Goblin, like how he's so goofy <laughs> in Goblin and he's just so like this this like wholesome character like uncle uncle like yeah uncle down the hall, uncle down the hall. like he's just he's such a lovable character and then he like transforms and it's like whoa yeah, wait a minute i was like spoiler alert don't spoiler you? alert like <laughs> yeah this is not this is not some chain like who is this like right. which character is this in yeah our reveal will tell you which character <laughs> it is but so oh, yeah he he seems to have that duality like not not the duality like a jimin duality but like he he's mischievous and yet super innocent like yes. he's i don't really think of mischievousness when i think of like jimin i think his is more of like a super cute versus very sensual but with sung jay it's more oh, of no, that like definitely. he's the innocent like i'm not doing anything wrong and then that like mischievous he's a- like <laughs> It's, it's that little instigation of like, hey, 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 you know, and I he, didn't do it. he embodies both. And we'd be like, oh, you're right. You, there's, you didn't do it. It has to be this other person, nothing. you know, he just, you did nothing because wrong. he's, yeah, he's like perfect and innocent. And, um, but he was the one talking about walking, watching porn, wasn't he? Wasn't it Soong Jae on the very first episode, I believe, of Reserving episode. Quiet Idols? Like he told us to stop watching porn, <laughs> but we're not going to. <laughs> Hold the phone. What did we just hear? I love that it's coming from like this idol, and it's like, what? Wait, the Mahne? Yeah. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah we're, so we're okay. We're- I, I feel like this song sort of embodies that because we were like, oh, moving on from a loved one. Like, right? Like, it was we're gonna, gonna be like, oh, like, and he's just totally like, like, we're gonna party. <laughs> like, let's go. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I'm better off without you. I'm gonna have a party. I mean, at least that's what I took. You from were the too lyrics. expensive. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fabulous song. Absolutely loved it. I I think his vocals, like his his range and everything, was perfect for the song. He was able to convey kind of the innocence and yet the playfulness of the the song and the message behind it. And it was just a really fun watch. I enjoyed it. It was great. This is definitely <laughs> going on my playlist. Absolutely. I think his whole album is on my right? playlist at this like, point. So so if you were fans of Yuk Song Jae or all of B2B, make sure that you like and subscribe down below so that you can see all of our content as it's coming out for these guys. We like them a lot. We think they're freaking hilarious. Just started rewatching Kingdom War the other day and it was laughing all over again at the, you know, Song Bae's that they are, like how much they all... Uh, the other groups respected them and their experience and how all the other bands were really like nervous to be to be fair it was just they were like the fourth group to enter but all three groups that had entered before were younger and newer to the whole 
K-pop idol thing, and they were all kind of just like awkward and uncomfortable. And then B2B came in, and it was like they knew which questions to ask. They started talking to Chan from Stray Kids in English, but um, I think it was Um Kwang who only knows a little bit of English. So he asked him a question, and Bang Chan kept talking to him in English, and he's like, "Oh no, <laughs> like this is all I know." But it was just the, the simple it's fact that they knew what to ask and how to get everybody laughing and comfortable and. They were there. I mean, just love them, love them, absolutely love them. And when I first watched Kingdom uh, War, I didn't know B two B, and so now to go back with new eyes, it's just like, oh my gosh, like it's all it's so great. And Song Jae's not there, but that's not the point. I'm a B two B in this moment, <laughs> so um, so good, so much fun. So make sure you check those out. And if you like dramas like this one, getting started on the Golden Spoon and loving I mean, it so far, we've already discussed Goblin. Goblin's already on our channel, and right, I know you right. Song Jae's in that one as well. So yes, he plays a pretty important part in that one. He does. He does. Like, he really does, man. And he's the main character in um, The Golden Spoon, In The Golden correct? Spoon, yep. Okay. Does he play two roles, or is it just two people who've switched? Is there something about like people switching? I don't know. Or... I, don't know. I, don't know yet. I started okay. at the not far end, enough into and then it. I had to go back to the beginning. Cause... Yeah, oops. Yeah, oops. oops. That wasn't my fault, though. It was totally Hulu's fault. <laughs> started her on the last episode. It started me on the last episode. I didn't realize. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, oh. Why? Why? And then, and then I was like, what's... How... how? How does this tie in? Yeah. How did, and then I was like, oh, why is it on episode 16? No, what? <laughs> wow. And so then, like, I'm halfway through episode 16 and, like, all the way through episode one. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a fun ride, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> interesting to start the story after you already know the ending, so. Well, I know half of the ending. Because you realized it and stopped. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute, this isn't, this doesn't make sense. No. Yeah. And you would think that you'd know, but at the same time, there have been enough K-dramas out there that we've started that have been like, wait, what? Yeah, Where you just right? get thrown like, in. So it's not that abnormal to start a K-drama and have no idea what's going on. So I can understand how you make right? yeah, it. Like, I get it. Make sure you check out How Your Views, where we tell you which dramas to watch, must watch, or completely skip. Until next time, y'all. I'm Yas.